So the way you add an ad account is pretty similar to your fan page. It's just, it's a little trickier if you already have an ad account. My recommendation is to always start a new one just so that it's simpler, it's cleaner, and it's going to be easier to manage your ads as well. Um, but you go to ad account, same thing, business settings, under pages, you're going to see ad accounts, and you're going to see the same thing button. You click on add. So you can add an account, you can request, request access to an existing account, or you can create a new account. I always say create a new account. And so you just add the name, currency, payment methods you can add later. You go next, and that's basically it. So let's say Mark Echo Demo Add Account. I'm going to go to next. It can be for my business or if I'm managing... Um, another business or a client. So in this case, it's going to be mine. I add it. Uh, I have too many ad accounts in the, at this moment, so I can't do it because I already have one. Um, so I'm going to go cancel, but you're basically not going to have your ad account here. The other thing that you can do is request access to one or add an existing one. So I can add an account. It's going to ask you for your ID. And this is a little tricky because it's not easy to find. But the way you do it is that, and this only works if you actually ran ads before on your pan, fan page by boosting posts. And so you go to you go to your fan page again, you go to the top right corner and this little like arrow like that's showing down and you're gonna go to manage ads. If you click to on manage ads, that's gonna take you to your ad account is gonna show you a number, right? So ID, so account ID status spent. And so you wanna actually grab this ID you want to copy that and you want to bring that to your ID account and you're going to add that account. And that's basically the way you add ad accounts on your business manager. Uh, so if you have an existing one, you can you look for that ID and you bring it back or you can create a new one. My recommendation is always build a new one, start from scratch. It's just cleaner, simpler, and it'll be easier to track your spend as well.